Hello and welcome back to my incredible video of amazingness on Lord Scrambles and this is part two of my walkthrough of the uh what the hell is this place? I think this is Utgard Keep. So let us continue. Alright, as you can see we're in this big room where we have to kill these dragon thingies. Uh these proto drakes. I forget what type of proto drake they are. These are enslaved proto drakes proto drakes that have been enslaved and we still have to fight these weird vehicle guys. Vehicles, I don't know what they are in the world of Warcraft lore because frankly I haven't had that much time to get into the world of Warcraft lore. Uh, also, one more thing right now. These commentaries will not have that much to do with the game except in very specific points. Mostly because I talk about whatever I'm thinking because I'm random like that and I do shit. Um, damn, what I was talking about. Anyways, I do not know that much about the World of Warcraft lore. Frankly, I did not ever get into the World of Warcraft lore. I started playing World of Warcraft because... Well, I wanted an awesome online game, and I started playing it three years ago. Unfortunately, I got obsessed with it, and at the time, I did not have any source of income. So I had to give it up. But now I do have a source of income, and all my friends are playing it, so I decided to get back into it, and now I am doing great. Normally I don't loot everything, but until I can't fit anything else in my bag, I will loot everything. My goal is to get some Emblems of Triumph so that I can get some better gear and start doing some endgame raids. Some Wrath of the Lich King raids. And I'd rather prefer to do this quickly because, as we all know, uh, Cataclysm. Cataclysm is coming out very soon. Um, another reason I didn't really get into the lore of World of Warcraft that much was because I am pretty much up <laughs> 3666 damage. That's creepy. Um, I'm more into other stuff. I've. I like. I don't know. I was I tried reading for a while. Uh, it's hard to read when there isn't that much literature that interests you. Shit. Yeah. Whatever. Bitch about me not holding aggro. It's not my fault. I hate this group. Not this group of people, but I hate this um, group pull. There are very few groups in this dungeon that I hate, but this is definitely one of them. This and that opening group. And uh, the rune forger groups that can often end up grouping into groups of two, five, six, six, oh, sixty-nine. That's still funny. Um, the groups that might accidentally run into each other and then you have to fight them together. Those groups piss me off. <sighs> that time our warrior died because I did not hold aggro on the proto drake. So I'm gonna buff him up. He'll be healed in about a second, and we can go. All right, we are moving along. The train does not stop, man. The train does not stop. Ain't no party like a train park party. All right. Oh, uh, in case any of you are wondering, uh, I use Blessing uh, uh, Sanctuary as my blessing and Seal of Vengeance as my seal. I believe this is the preferred Tankadin uh, buff setup. I used Seal of Wisdom for a while um, until I got into bigger raids or bigger dungeons I mean because I could not I constantly was running out of mana but I found a good rotation and a good means of keeping my mana up so now I don't have to alright this next boss fight is pretty easy I'll get into that after I kill this group of trash but all in all it's a very simple fight just gonna kill these guys. Just gonna kill these guys. The only guy I don't like... The the main people I don't like in this dungeon are the Rune Forgers. Because they are spellcasting assholes. And if your group accidentally... If I let one of them slip away and go... Let's say the healer ends up having to fight one. Then we will wipe because the Rune Forgers can deal out a shitload of damage. And can cast auras that I just accidentally pulled my um, one of my spells out of my spell bar. That's why I need to lock my spell bar. But I don't do it because I'm lazy. Let's try to find that. Righteous Fury. Boom. It's back. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Righteous Defense. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to ask my group if they're ready. Alright, this boss fight is pretty easy. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to taunt him, get him attacking you, and you want to run up and then you immediately want to cast your aura. And you want to cast your seals, and you want to bust out your uh, 696. Get that motherfucker 
immediately pissed off at you. Now he's going to summon these groups of skeletons. You want to immediately pull these groups over to you. Because what these groups of skeletons are going to do is they're all going to go after one guy. And if they're not attacking you, then they're going to end up going after your healer or your primary DPS. You don't want that, because then you wipe. Luckily, if you go and kill him quickly, he'll only have time to summon in about two groups. Um, I, you'll down him pretty quickly. He is a pretty shitty boss, even on Heroic. Uh, and he only has about 400k health. Um, and he's down. I joined the knight. Uh, he's a douche. This sword is actually a lot weaker than the w weapon I currently have, which is Lucky Old Sun. I got it from the normal version of um, Forge of Souls, I believe. But since I'm a tank, I can get away with needing it. <laughs> and I will go ahead and I'll sell that later on when I get out of here. Alright, I got about one more. I got about at least a more another minute before I have to uh, wrap this up. Oh shit, they're asking me why I needed that. Um, uh, because, um, okay, I find the best solution when you, um, when you run into the situation is to just ignore them. Uh, hey, I'm just gonna tell them because it's a tank piece. Alright, I think I've got away with that. Yours is better. Fuck. Um. Uh, uh, just okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore him now and hope that this whole situation goes away. Uh. Uh. Yep. I don't have much to talk about now. I'm just uh. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there goes my timer. As always, thank you for watching this video. Tune into this next part of my walkthrough on Ukard Keep. This is Lord Scrambles. Thanks, and see you next time.